Oh my god, I love this. We're gonna be wearing dresses for an entire week. Jared, you look so strong. Yeah. <laughs> Feels really nice though. On I... I have never worn a dress in earnest. Let us montage the 100 <laughs> dresses you've worn for Try Guys right now. I don't have a ton of experiences with dresses, although something I like to do is like, if I'm like making a themed cake, I like to like dress up. So I do buy dresses. I feel great in a dress. There's a Jewish holiday called Purim. So when I was a kid, you get to like do like a costume party, you dress up and do, you know, costume competitions. And I always thought it was more fun to go as the female characters in the story. <laughs> in every day, I mean, I don't, I, I've never worn a dress just to wear one, but I, I do think I would. Kill it. I've never really had to deal with people reacting to me based on what I'm wearing. Totally hate it, and the fact that we have to walk back. <laughs> well, I wasn't wearing anything. My name is Kai Kagawa. I use he, they, and she pronouns, and I am a costume historian and costumer with IOTC 705. I'm very interested in the way that people dress because it tells you so much about who they are and where they come from. It's why dress has become very political, it's very personal, it is cultural and religious, and I find it all very, very interesting because you build a person not only from the heart, but from the skin outward. All right, team, we have a bunch of dresses that the office has purchased just for us. Ooh. It's time to go shopping. First out the gate, I see this hanging and this is cute. It's so cute. It's like Dobby the house elf, but but fancy. It looks like a you know kitchen no. like towel. <laughs> it looks like a kitchen towel, no? It's giving pillowcase. <laughs> it's giving pillowcase. I kind of love this. What do we think of this? Oh, I that's- never, I've never worn this color. This is a good color, it pops. I like this. This is giving me a little bit of like a Dalmatian vibe. What was her name? Cruella de Vil. Oh, that's fun. There's been increasing uh, support of gender fluid dressing in the last couple years. Harrison Styles obviously wearing dresses, pissing off conservatives. But even if you go back a decade, you've got Jaden Smith walking around wearing skirts and dresses. I think that my fear of wearing a dress is that people are going to think I'm doing a bit or that I'm trying to garner attention. For better or for worse, a man, especially a straight man, wearing a dress is such a statement. In 2023, so today, people dress so differently, but it isn't always necessarily about gender anymore, which is really interesting because it's also about comfort because in a post-pandemic world, people have found a new measure of what it means to live in your own body and live in your own skin. And with that, we've seen softening of traditional masculine dress. We've seen hardening of traditional feminine dress. Oh my God. Zach. It's be I feel like I'm at your wedding, but you're the bride. You kind of feel like a rock star. I, I feel uncomfortable. Oh. I'm not used to this yeah. being exposed. What, do you, what vibe is it giving you? I think it looks like you're in a wedding. Cool. Midsommar. Oh, I was gonna say Milk Maiden. <laughs> Johnny, you look good. Yeah. I good mean. Good job, Johnny. Beautiful. Wow. I feel like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. I'm so outward about who I am. I, I think a, fe a real fear he here is that people will think I'm like making fun. Like I have a trans cousin, right? And I don't want it to be seen as like, oh, I'm just masquerading in this and like I'm f***ing with you. Cross-dressing is one of those terms that we don't really hear a lot anymore, and it's partly because we have a more modern sense of gendered dressing and what that actually means. Cross-dressing on its face is kind of intended to be you are crossing from your gender to the other gender's department in a store. So if someone is doing a drag performance, that's not cross-dressing, that's performing drag. If you are experimenting with trying other aspects of gender and trying a more feminine garment, that isn't cross-dressing. That's just trying other garments. I believe we kind of started to do away with the idea of cross-dressing when masculine celebrities started wearing flouncy dresses. <laughs> Zach, that's your look. That's your dress. Really? It's Zach, it's so good. This is closer. We're getting warmer. Mom is home, the bitch is back. Oh my goodness, look at you. Wow. 
Yeah. It looks great. Ladies? Jared. You look great! I feel great. This is, has to be one of mine. It right? fits you well. Thank you. I mean, I feel like I'm ready to go to a dance. Is this real? Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is like it's someone's birthday and I'm the present. <laughs> this is a sex outfit. <laughs> you look cool. You think I look cool? I think you look really cool. You look like you could be a ceramics teacher and yeah. like you've been a ceramics teacher. You're right. Very art teacher. Yeah. This is a look. Uh, but I can't wear this to work. This is too hot. You're at work. <laughs> what do you mean you can't wear it to work? Historically, men have worn dresses, gowns, robes, all of these things that are also terms for dresses. When we as a civilization started to domesticate animals, it became really uncomfortable to ride them in dresses. And thus you cut forward hundreds of years to the World War II era, and women are entering the workforce. And it's for the same reason that men stopped wearing dresses, women started wearing pants because they couldn't straddle an airplane wing and rivet it together in dresses. So people stopped wearing them for work. <laughs> what do we think? <gasps> yeah, this yes. is good. This is good and classic. This feels like a good everyday dress. Oh, Johnny Gay. And now I'm, oh. You look loaded. Yeah, you do look loaded. I feel like a real housewife or something. Yeah. So I realized I should have taken my undershirt off after I put on the other undershirt thing that I had a hard time with. The built-in bras, they throw me through a loop. I'm not really feeling this as much as I wanted to because I was going to see Barbie in this. We're going to have to find a different undershirt. Is there room for two? There's room for two. <laughs> okay. Hello, big boy. Your head's getting stuck in the hole. I, every dress. Yeah. Well, what if I put my finger here? I feel very left out. <laughs> Johnny, there's room for three. I feel like I'm at a threesome and like, they're like, go over there. No! Come on in! Well, now I don't want, I don't want the pity. It's not pity. All right, then I'll come. <laughs> yeah, all right, then I'll come. That's I, yours. No, 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 no. I want to see someone in that. I, oh, I do what are these called again? Bodycon. This is Bodycon? So it's like the club dress. Okay. We're going to the club. All right, we've tried a bunch of looks. Now it's time to Bodycon. I'm feeling awful lonely out here, girls. Coming. Oh, Jonathan Cakes! And now I understand your name, Jonathan Cakes. There's no cakes. Come on. There's no cakes. I do feel like a Kardashian, though. I wish I had like an ass implant right now. Jared, you look so strong. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a good look. Are you ready for the club? Are yeah. you sweating? I'm sweating. It was really hard to put this on. We're ready for a night on the town. We're not buying a single drink. <laughs> Uh, these these are not probably the ones that we would wear. No, they're no. they're quite bold. Yeah. Um. Okay. Okay. We we look like those little mice that drink tea. We're little dolls. Yeah, I'm a little baby doll. Sign me up for a freaking tea party. Truly. Shrink me down and let me live under your cover. Play with me. <laughs> hey, daddy. Hey, daddy. Play with me. <laughs> I'm lonely on this shelf. Oh, I love this. Oh my God, I love this. This is, especially for you, like, like what else are you supposed to bake in? You're supposed to make cakes in your normal ass no, clothes? No, this. this is it. Oh my God, are we, are we returning these? Ugh, I'm so jealous. Johnny, let's frolic. <laughs> you gotta say, play with me, play, play with, with me. me. Play Come with on, daddy, me, play with me, play with me. Wow. Yeah, oh, it's you're so adorable. Nice. You look like a little teacup. Oh my god, Jared. This one was hard to figure out. Why are dresses so hard? I don't know. The longer I stay in this, the more it just feels right. Men, you're missing the f out. First Honestly. of all, your shapes are boring as hell. Boring. Second of all, look at this sleeve. <laughs> I mean, I mean, how much? I, I'm gonna buy this. This is so fun. I don't even have to work out because my my arms are huge. And also, do you want to do a British accent? <laughs> Daddy told me we could go get crumpets. He told you that. Daddy told me, but you promised me, Daddy. <laughs> you know, something like that. I love this. This is the most you, I think. What's touching the ground right now? Is it dress or is it your bare ass? Yeah, no, my it's balls. the perineum. Yeah, yeah. Or, that is a weird thing about dresses, is that there's no bottom. Like, I've never had my um, everything under me Which hit the ground. Which is weird, because you would feel like it would be good for us. 
So we've tried on a bunch of dresses. Now we are going to assemble some looks for the week. It's time to get out into the world. All right, we are on our way to Starbucks, and honestly, yeah, we look good. Feeling hot. I, ha I brought this straw hat. Jared found it immediately, completed his look. Also, not used to having my bare butt on the car seat, and it's hot. Wait, I'm confused. I feel like I'm doing it wrong. My ass is not on the car seat. It's like my dress is tucked Your under. Your dress is a little longer. Longer, longer, got it. I'm getting a little nervous. About? about like stepping out of the car and being in public and being in a dress. I've been nervous about that happening, but I'm less nervous doing it with three of us in dresses mm. than I am with living the rest of my week. I feel more equipped to go do anything. Should I change my coffee order? <laughs> you need something, fit? yeah. I think I'm gonna go a little sweeter, like a vanilla ice Ooh, latte. Cute. I am gonna need someone to hold my keys. I don't have pockets. <laughs> we should have got purses. I gotta say. As a man, it feels weird that I can feel wind like on my man parts. Yeah, it does I feel like I'm doing feel, something illegal. This feels good. Yeah, it does feel good. You look cool. Oh, and you got pockets? Thank oh, you. I'm so jealous. I know, I look good. <laughs> that's your first cat call, dude. Were they honking at us? How, how do you know it's my first cat call? <laughs> that's a good you point. You my life. <laughs> that's a good point. I mean, I'm feeling great. The hat and the glasses are a really nice touch for this, this look. How's it going? Hey. You want to take a picture with me? I'm from Georgia, country, you know Georgia? You're from the country Georgia? Yeah. Wow, what are you doing visiting here? No, I live here. Oh, amazing. So, a gentleman just asked to take a photo with me. Mm. He's from Georgia. Mm. And I don't know if it's because we're there's a camera with us and he thinks we're famous or because he's like, wow, that's the hottest man I've ever seen in my life. I think it's a mix One of both. both. Yeah. Thank you very much. Wow, look at that. See, I don't get compliments. That feels good. Johnny, can you pose? So we've uh, had the camera crew leave us. We are now just out in the world. And it's time to go to Starbucks. That's Maggie's hat and sunglasses. Oh my God. Honestly, I think you might have to keep them. Thanks, Mags. Okay, I've never heard this many honks. Yeah, it's we're gotta here. be it's us, gotta right? Be us. It's gotta be us. Yeah, again. That's us again. Or is it this person Oh no, that's the, not no, turning. road rage, road rage. It's road rage. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the person that's... Oh my gosh, we know, we look good. <laughs> oh, it's cold in here. It feels really nice though on I I am going to get a grande ice chai latte with oat milk, please. The girlies got their Starbies. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. We got our Starbies. Let's uh let's go over here. I want to talk. Okay. Something interesting happened where I was a little uncomfortable when we started this, and then I, I got into it and I, I started to feel comfortable and I started to feel good. And I started to feel happy. Mm. And by the time we got here. I'm just chilling. I'm living my life. We're, we're alarming people, mm. both positively and negatively, where people are noticing us and they're going, there's something different. So in Starbucks, I walked by and there was a woman who was like decked out in f***ing goth makeup. And she looks at us and she goes, and I'm like, what are you? You're expressing yourself with what you wear. Why are you judging me? And then there was a bro -y bro who's sitting at the table and he turns around and he goes, the f***'s going on? Really? He said that out loud wow. in earshot of me and he was laughing. There were some people who were very nice, but there were some people that were like upset uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. or or wanting to laugh or wanting to make jokes. The more that that happened, the more I'm like, no, actually, f you. Yeah. I'm wearing what makes me happy, and yeah. if you have a problem with that, f off. Yeah. I I'm like, I'm now emboldened. I'm mad. I feel great. It is summer. It's hot. Why are you wearing hot. jeans? What's wrong with you, bro? I like, did not catch any of that inside. I just got my coffee. <laughs> I'm livid right now. Yeah, the, I can tell. The idea that someone would f***ing judge me or make some snide ass comment because of what I'm choosing to yeah, wear yeah, and what yeah. I feel comfortable in, absolutely go f*** yourself. Yeah. Well, I also think you have to ask yourself, like, at what point is that person in their life that I should care about their opinion? Yeah. Because I think I was a very opinionated bro who in my young 20s could have turned around and saw that and been like, what the f*** is going yeah, on out loud? Yeah. But like, Again, I've said this in the pre-thoughts, in your 30s, it's like, I don't care about the bro in Starbucks opinion of me wearing a dress. I, I, I'm starting more to lean towards that. Like, I was a little stressed when we were getting out of the car, and now I'm like, whatever. Someone says something nasty, it's like, like you said, it's hot out, I'm gonna wear a dress. Oh, f this has pockets, I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, f this has pockets, you I didn't even know! Oh my god, that's huge! Okay, well, sorry. <laughs> I thought this was gonna be a gender experience, but what it is is like, 
I'm, I'm stepping into the shoes of the other in the, in the broadest sense. And there are people that are uncomfortable with that and I want to fight them. <laughs> it's amazing how much you want to stand up for it and you just started it. Yeah. Yeah, I think being together with a camera makes it a lot easier. Me just walking around in my day to day, like when I go see a movie by myself at City Walk, that's going to be hard. Do you want to model by this black and white wall? Mm -hmm. We are done filming for the day. I'm at my desk jamming on emails. Uh, something I'm anxious about is that my dress is short. Uh, and when I sit, it hikes up. And I have a big glass window between me and the office. So kind of nervous that I'm just a sitting HR violation right now. Hey, from LAX, I'm feeling rich. I'm feeling powerful. I feel like I'm getting on a private jet, even though I'm flying in the back of a Delta red eye. Okay, but honestly, this is such a serve. The pressure of going back home is a thing, right? Like, I'm not gonna be walking around the streets of LA, I'm gonna be walking around like my conservative hometown in Michigan. Not that I give a shit, f those people. I mean, not f them, They're, some of them are very, you guys are lovely. It's day one of me wearing dresses. And this evening, I'm meeting up with Chris Reinecker at his house for a production meeting on a project we're working on. He knows that I'm doing the dress video, but I did not tell him that I'd be showing up to this meeting wearing a dress. Hey. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> This is Chris's fiance, Claudia. <laughs> Claudia, what do you think of my dress? Um, what's going on? <laughs> I love it, actually. We have to be quiet for the little baby. I'm like in a dress being quiet for the baby. <laughs> Mom is home. <laughs> okay, I just got home. Uh, I don't think Maggie knows that we're doing this video. What are you wearing? A dress. It's not very, like, flattering to your figure. Okay! <laughs> You're not all the way zipped up either. You're not really feeling it. I feel I like... I don't have boobs. I have more. This is not my favorite, for the record. It looks like kind of... It sort of looks like you're wearing an apron. Yeah. What do you think about me wearing dresses this week? It's cute. Hopefully some of them fit you better. Wow! You see what I deal with? <laughs> I actually feel like you look pretty good in this kitchen. You, you can do a photo shoot in this kitchen. Real Housewives in California or Silver Lake. They hold fruit in the intro, that's why. And like a diet coke. Can I tell you the one line I know from Real Housewives? You ready? Maybe I'll get a good shot of it. Ready? Go. Bethany, you're not a chef, you're a cook. <laughs> My name is Jared and I'm never not beautiful. <gasps> no you kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, what a vibe! I know, but you gotta see with the green background. Yo, oh, I look fly! <laughs> Actually, I feel like Jared, there's something softer about Jared in a positive way. I feel like it, like... If I had a bunch of tattoos, yeah. this would mm. look yeah. sick. I think I would You should hot. chat about the... The big, the... Yeah, what happens if you pull that down? We decided that to be more authentic, I had to take off the undershirt, really show the bosom. The bosom? <laughs> I think I look f***ing Harry Styles, get a load of this bad bitch. Yeah, like Harry Styles, am I right? What do you think, Mom? What? I think you're really gonna like this one. Okay. You like it? Um, don't like it. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna like any of them. You're on a 360 spin? Oh, that makes it better. Okay. <laughs> I think you're gonna like this one. Okay. It's very rich woman. <laughs> okay. What do you think? <laughs> you think that's very rich woman? Yeah, look, there's gold chains and everything. I let me try to think of something good to say. Okay. <laughs> what do you think? Um Yeah. Do you like it better or worse than the last one? Uh that's really hard to say. Because <laughs> <laughs> you hate them both. <laughs> I think they're good. 
<laughs> Come on, I can wear this to a wedding. I can wear this to your third wedding, Mom. <laughs> my mom has married two Toms. My dad's name was Tom, my stepdad's name is Tom. Okay, let's focus on the dress. <laughs> it's kind of nice knowing that I like, don't really have to put that much thought into my outfit. It's one piece. Well, I'm seeing a movie today. It's a pink themed movie. So this one seems like a good choice. I wasn't like super in love with the deep V on this. I think it's a little much. So I'm wearing an undershirt. I don't know about this one. I feel like I'm not really feeling this vibe today. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna try something else. All right, new day, new dress. I decided that today the way I'm gonna wear my dress out in public is gonna be at the coffee shop with Jesse. I don't like when you're wearing a dress that it could blow up like at any moment. I, Marilyn Monroe, it's like in real life, it's not sexy, it's scary. <laughs> okay. Second attempt. See, I just feel like it's too slooty with this V. I like that dress. You like this one? Yeah. But don't you agree? Like, I need something to cover up. I've tried on every single dress that I own. Uh, I'm trying, like, to to layer it, uh, nothing's working. I... <laughs> you have to be careful when you bend over. What? You have to be careful when you bend over. <laughs> Look good, dude. I feel good. This coffee shop is so packed on the inside and I was so afraid for a moment. I, I didn't feel fear in any of the other dress, but I really, this is like my, since the first day, I haven't really gone in crazy public. The inside of that coffee shop had like 35 people in it. <laughs> it's just me in this dress. Like out of context, if I was someone watching me, they'd be like, what is happening? <laughs> Can't question that I'm fabulous. Your legs are amazing. What? <laughs> so I'm at my elementary school. I thought it might be fun to come here in a dress. Might be healing. Mer Elementary, class of 2002, I think. This was Mrs. Hunwick's class, first grade. She was awesome. I was in love with her before I realized that I liked men. I peed my pants outside um, at lunch one day, sitting out like next to this flagpole. Okay, that was somewhat therapeutic. Um, I don't know. It's good to spend a little time to think about your younger self. So I'm going for a walk through the neighborhood. This is my, my weekly therapy call uh, and it's hot out. So I think it's time to be brave. I will say walking around hot summer day, being able to have my arms out, flowy bottoms. It is, it feels good, man. <laughs> also, I think I look really cool. I look like badass, especially with the sunnies. If I get past the mental block of this, this is a level of comfort that I didn't know was possible. Every time the breeze picks up and I, I feel it kind of glide up my legs, it's ah, delicious. It's your boy. I've officially taken off the overshirt. I'm living, loving, large. Uh, I feel really good in this one. I think I looked really cool. The X is doing good things for me. Um, I will tell you that using a urinal, picking up the dress instead of pulling pants down, very funny. <sighs> I feel like it's a completed, if I may. May I? Yeah, absolutely. Like they're bows, they're not just tassels. <laughs> I like that you wear the a hat again. Oh, this is my dress hat. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> I wear it with all my dresses. It gives me a vibe. I don't know. I put the dress on earlier and I was like, it just doesn't feel good without it, you know? I feel Ooh, like I actually it. like it, but I like it. No hat today? I feel like. What do you think, Claudia? Do you want me to Yeah. It's like Bam Bam. Ooh, like, wow. It's so me. <laughs> Is this a vibe? I'm sorry, do you have vibes? Yesterday you looked like stylish, and today you look more like an old man. <laughs> but now that you have the ties and the and the top knot, I feel good. Now you got a vibe going on. <laughs> All right, I'm here for dinner. Let's see what Garrett and Kelsey thinks. Hey, you know what? I actually didn't even know that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do we like? Yeah. Do we like? 
feels right. It feels flowy. You ready for this? I'm about to show you the shoulder. So, I uh, just finished the musical. It was super funny. I uh, got myself a Dwayne The Rock Johnson headshot. I ran into someone from high school <laughs> at the musical. And uh, someone I haven't seen since high school. And we were talking and catching up and I'm, I'm standing there wearing this dress and I'm... <sighs> everything in me wanted to be like, oh, it's, a, it's, it's for a video! And then I realized how weird that would sound. So then I just tried to own it. And, and like be like, yeah, no, this this is me. I'm wearing a cool dress. It's definitely a little weird to meet people in a dress. This is not, you know, what I normally dress like, but I just tried to live in it, to own it. Does it become less of a joke? Because I felt the same way that when you showed up to the front door, it felt like a joke the first night. But the yeah. more you stayed here, the, the less, the more it's just like, that's how you look. Yeah, we're working, so you almost forget after a while. But when I go into like public places, that's where I'm a little like, Right. I feel like people are gonna think I'm making a joke or something. Like, like if you walk in and you're like, then yeah. everyone's gonna be like, okay, this guy's mocking. But if you just walk in like, this is what it is, then you're and this is what it Harry is. Styles, baby. So honestly, I don't like this material. I don't like the flow of it. It's just not as good as the first day. I mean, how different is a dress than a f-ing shirt? Also, you're in Silver Lake now, like. Not as weird. I can go to Whole Foods and f- in these f- in yoga pants and I'm like the 10th weirdest dressed person there. It's- Mom. They're sorry now I brought- Why? Could have had you scooping ice cream <laughs> in your dress. My mom is mad at Cold Stone for firing me. Almost punched their lights out. You almost. <laughs> All right, let's not get violent. <laughs> but yeah, f- Cold Stone. Yeah. Say it. Cold stone. <laughs> also, I need to start wearing these more. They're so comfortable and they're great for a hot summer day. You know what else is good for a hot summer day? Cold stone, except not this one because they don't, they didn't ever give me free gummy bears. I'm outside of Cold Stone Creamery. This is where I had my first job in high school and they fired me because I stole gummy bears which is annoying because gummy bears cost like 0.20 cents and I didn't pay for them, I guess. Um, So I just came by to tell them to fuck off. Gummy bears are, should be free for employees. Saturday, what's up? Check out my OOTD. It's getting cult girl realness. I'm ready for my Midsommar. Um, It has this button in the back. And I don't know how I'm supposed to do this myself. Ah, oh, okay, that's one. Oh, this is like, but no! Oh, I just undid it. It's like burning my shoulders. It's, this is a workout. Yes. Just got in the car, and the black seats are hot against my back. Welcome. We're matching. We're matching. We kind of look like a backgammon. We're at Lauren's house. We're going to go borrow a pool. See what he thinks of our matching outfits. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> oh, is it dress week? Dress week. It's dress week. Wow. Oh, yeah, my. Yin and yang. So cute. <laughs> So adorable. You know so are you just free balling under there? What's happening? I'm not free balling. I have underwear on. Oh, okay, great. But I will tell you that it like, I was at a show last night and like, I would say it's not enough fabric between me and the world. Huh. I just realized something incredible. Y'all ready for this? Oh, now you're free balling. It's a change. It's a walking changing room. Be so careful. You, the way you just pick your leg up was really risky. Yeah. Don't look. I'm so nervous for you right now. Yeah, maybe, maybe, okay, maybe it's not as good as I thought. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm outside Rachel's house and I'm just gonna drop off the um, one dress that she really liked. Uh, Why wouldn't she like it? It looked great on me and I wanna gift it to her because she'll use it more than me and she'll look great in it. Um, It's like sisterhood of the traveling pants, but with dresses. Okay, so I've got the dress right here with a little note saying thank you and also that she should pass the dress on to whoever she thinks would appreciate it when she's done with it. 
Enjoy, Rachel. Movies with my boys. Yeah. Movies with my boys. I'm fucking growing out tonight. I, I want a dress shop for men because I feel like, again, I don't like this super deep V, but I love how I feel. I just, there's nothing like wearing a dress on a hot day. Well, the only reason men wear pants is because we started riding horses. I don't ride horses. Okay, so the week's up. Honestly, wearing a dress this week was nice. It was, it's summer and it's hot and it felt good to have that breeze in my chest hair. I think my favorite parts were like, just not having to worry about like picking out an ensemble, like with the dress, you just put one thing on. But I definitely feel like I was scared of my body and like how my arms would look in them and I'm like not so stressed about that anymore. I really enjoyed wearing a dress. It took me a lot to like get over it. Um, and like parts of my body that I wasn't used to being exposed. But the feeling of it cannot be matched. Also, Maggie's got a whole closet. I just doubled my wardrobe, baby. Who knows, maybe you'll see me wearing more dresses. Maybe a wedding dress soon. If you catch my drift. I don't I don't know what my drift is. Five hundred dollars in this one. Yeah. It's not right. This dress or a new Xbox? <laughs> That's what I ask myself every day, Jared.